Welcome back to Skeleton Butchcraft and Survival. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're having an awesome day, regardless of what time it is that you're watching this video. Now, recently I was watching a live stream. It was hosted by my brother, Frontier Survival. He had a guest, Fish Snatcher. Both of them are awesome channels. I'll leave a link in the description. Check them out. Now, the topic, what was the best survival skill for hunting or for finding food? And contrary to popular belief, fishing is not the best form at all. I've been all over this country and there is a lot of places with no water, thus no fish. Now I do want to clarify that all methods of gathering food are extremely important skills to have and it is all opportunity. However, even when there is water present, there is one method that stands above the rest and mixed with foraging is actually trapping. The problem is, is that in survival wise, there's a lot of people that don't have the first idea of what to do to create a trap. I've done several different videos on showing different traps, whether it be the spring traps with triggers or deadfalls, such as the uh, figure four. So today I'm going to show you a simple method of making a basket trap with a trigger release that is faster and easier than the figure four. Now with this basket right here, it's best to first to come up with some kind of an idea of what size that you're wanting it. After you've done that, then it's best to get all of this stuff together and laid out uniformly so that you can reach and get to what you're wanting. To find out the cordage size, put it together like this, and then go a crisscross. Now I'm gonna be using a clove hitch on each side, and to make a clove hitch, if you don't know, And when you put this on, make sure that the cord is going towards the direction that you're gonna tie off next. So in this case, here, the cord is leading over here on top side and it's running over here. The key thing to make sure, and number one, this is as square as possible. So tighten, loosen, whatever needs to be so that it is square and also making sure that the uh, cordage is always going up. So on all four corners, it's on top. Now, all it is is just putting in the sticks, crisscrossing, one, two, and of course, on this direction, coming back, one, two. Keep doing that up as tight as possible, all the way up to the top. Another thing that you wanna make sure is the sticks that you use are in smaller diameter because the smaller they are, the less gap that's gonna be in between when finished. Once you get up like this right here, need a top put on. So we're just going to wedge in a top all the way across. Making sure to pull this tight now for the extra weight, we really need to get a rock on here. And normally this would go up underneath this, but we was able to get this tight enough just with the limbs itself. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a limb right down here. I'm gonna tie it over across and tie this rock on. With that being done, we're just gonna flip it over. This side right here is where the trap release is gonna be uh, tied onto. And then this right here is where the trap release is gonna be. So all you need to do is grab yourself a stick like this right here. I'd say probably around eight inches. Grab yourself a saw. Cut right about here. About halfway down. Then flip it over, come up some, and cut on the other side about halfway down. Make sure that everything lines up. That side lines up. This side right here needs a little bit more. 
Good. Yep. And then just put it on your knee and pull. And it should break just like that right there, which is perfect. On this one right here, we're gonna put a clove hitch on this side. Remembering that where it's going is where it should be coming from. This section right here is where the clove hitch is gonna be. To put on here. And what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to tighten it up so that when it is raised up, this right here has an angle. And I'd say that's probably a good angle right there. I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit more. Perfect. And then I'm gonna bring it back, do another clove hitch over here, making sure that this is right here in the middle. Just like that right there. Well, as you see, you got a quarters going on both sides. So it doesn't matter which way that the squirrel or rabbit gets in there, it's gonna trigger. A little bit of a tip for the bait in the very back. Just about any animal out there loves peanut butter. So if you got yourself some hickory, walnut, or beech nut, then smash it up into a butter, put it back there, and it has a better chance of catching something. All right, so let's go ahead and set this off. So a squirrel or a rabbit comes through here trying to get to the bait up there. It goes, there you go. Now this trap right here is actually awesome for catching squirrels and rabbits. So you do want to set it out early in the morning opposed to late at night so night dwellers don't come along and tear it up for you. And before you go, please check out this video at the end for your chance to win the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. It's still going on. Hope this video helped. Thank you very much for watching and take care.